The sperm whale is a very distinctive whale, with its large box-like head that can be up to one third of its body length. It can be easily identified from a distance due to its unique blow, which is always angled to the left and is caused by its single blow hole, which is located on the left side of its head. Its lower jaw contains up to 52 teeth, each of which can weigh up to one kilogram. And because it has teeth, the sperm whale belongs to the toothed whales. And it is both the largest of the toothed whales and has the greatest sexual dimorphism of any cetacean. And sexual dimorphism refers to the physical differences between a male and female in a single species. A mature male sperm whale, also called a bull, can be up to one third longer and three times heavier than a mature female, also called a cow. Bulls measure 15 to 18 metres long and weigh about 45,000 kilograms, whilst cows measure 9 to 11 metres long and weigh up to 15,000 kilograms. And a cow gives birth on average once every five years to a calf that measures 3.5 to 4.5 metres long and weighs 1,000 kilograms. Sperm whales are found in all the world's oceans except for the Black and Red Seas, making them the second most widespread cetacean after the orca or killer whale. Sperm whales are also one of the deepest diving mammals and are usually found in water deeper than one kilometer because of their prey, deep sea squid and fish, which is found at a minimum depth of 300 to 400 meters. But sperm whales often dive much deeper than this. Cows dive as deep as one kilometre for about 45 minutes, whilst large bulls dive even deeper, diving to over two kilometres and for about two hours. Deep sea squid can be found at all latitudes throughout the year, meaning sperm whales have a constant food supply in warm waters. This allows female sperm whales to remain in warm waters year round and raise their calves in the safety of warm water which contains fewer predators such as orca. Female sperm whales live together in highly social pods of 8 to 20 closely related adults, their calves and juveniles. The adults have strong bonds with one another and it is very rare that a female will leave her mother's pod. Each pod member helps to raise each other's calves, both in nursing and babysitting. This is because the calves cannot dive deeply and must remain at the surface and babysitting them allows the calves to be protected at all times whilst the mother can hunt for squid. Meanwhile, a male sperm whale will leave his mother's pod anywhere between the ages of 4 and 20 years old and he will then swim to higher latitudes where he meets up with other males of a similar age and size and forms bachelor pods. And as he gets older, he becomes more solitary and remains at high latitudes until he is in his late 20s, when he will periodically migrate back to warmer waters to mate with female sperm whales. As highly social animals and to find potential mates, communication is very important for sperm whales, which communicate primarily through clicks. And sperm whales produce four types of clicks. These are usual or regular clicks, buzzes or creaks, coders and slow clicks or clangs. Two of these click types, coders and clangs, are thought to have roles in communication. Clangs are only produced by bulls and are thought to be used to communicate with other males over large distances. A coder refers to a pattern of clicks in quick succession. These are mostly heard at the surface where the whales rest and socialise and are exchanged between pod members. Each pod uses about 20 different coders and can be identified by the coders used, as some of these coders are completely unique to that pod. The other click types, buzzes and usual clicks are used in hunting. Visibility underwater decreases rapidly with depth, meaning sperm whales rely on sound to navigate and hunt. This is known as echolocation, which uses reflected sounds to identify and locate various objects. And in the case of sperm whales, usual clicks are used to scan an environment and locate prey, whilst buzzes, which have a much higher frequency, are used to examine an object or keep track of prey. 
and echolocation in sperm whales works as follows. Air is inhaled through the blowhole and travels down the left nasal passage where it is then forced into the right nasal passage and through the phonic lips which causes them to vibrate and generate clicks. These clicks travel through the spermaceti organ which contains a liquid wax called spermaceti and this is what sperm whales are named after. The spermaceti is thought to act a lot like a megaphone and amplifies the clicks. These clicks hit the back wall of the spermaceti organ and are reflected into the melon, which acts a lot like an acoustic lens and focuses the clicks into a beam of sound that enters the water. These clicks travel through the water and if they hit an object or the sea floor, they are reflected and return to the whale where they enter the lower jaw before reaching the ears. And these returning clicks provide the whale with information about the object, such as its distance and direction. However, sometimes the click isn't reflected into the melon straight away and may be reflected back into the spermaceti organ, causing the click to become even louder. As a result, some clicks can be up to 230 decibels. This is even louder than the blue whale, which can produce sounds of up to 180 decibels, meaning sperm whales produce the loudest sounds in the animal kingdom. And as for why the sperm whale needs to be so loud, this is most likely so that it can be as efficient as possible when hunting, as the louder a sound is, the further the sound travels. And by being so loud, a sperm whale can scan large distances for prey as it dives meaning the whale can swim directly onto its prey and start feeding immediately on reaching its hunting depth. The global sperm whale population once numbered about 1 million whales. This was greatly reduced by commercial whaling in which they were hunted for their oil, which was mainly used as machinery lubricant. Sperm whales were hunted until 1986 when the global ban on commercial whaling came into place. Now fully protected, sperm whales are recovering and number about 300,000 whales. However, sperm whales still face various threats such as ship strikes, which is when an animal is hit by a moving ship. Sperm whales spend 75% of their time below the surface foraging, but the remaining 25% is spent at the surface mostly resting, making them extremely vulnerable to being hit by a fast moving ship. But by identifying areas where sperm whales are abundant, new shipping lanes can be planned to avoid these areas and speed limits introduced to reduce the chances of a ship strike, such as with the MSC group, which has rerouted its ships around sperm whale habitats in Greece.